everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick little what I eat in a day video. I really didn't know how to film this video so I am currently doing it kind of like vlog style. But if there's any other way you want to see me make these videos, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, I actually, this is the first day I've slept in in such a long time, you guys. Like, it is currently 11 o'clock and I'm having my first meal of the day, which is weird because, like, even if I, I usually don't have anything going on in the mornings, but even if I don't, I set my alarm for, like, 8.30 or 9, just so I don't waste my day away, but I've actually had nothing to do recently, like, with schoolwork and stuff. I mean, I have class, my first class at 2.30, so I, like, was like, maybe I'll just sleep in today, and it's felt so great, you guys, so I'm about to make some breakfast, I just want to show you guys what I'm making, so... Yeah, I'm currently about to make a strawberry banana smoothie with spinach and that might not sound really good to you guys But you literally can't taste the spinach and it's so good with my almond milk This is my unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It's actually better than regular milk you guys and it's only 30 calories a cup It's really good. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, I got my frozen strawberries and then I got a banana So that is all the stuff you need if you are non-vegan You can add some honey to it, which is what I normally would do I would add some of that honey right there to sweeten it But you know, I don't think that it necessarily needs sweetened, you know, all the natural tastes are pretty good So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start making it <laughs> I forgot to say, you're also gonna need I one cup of just regular ice. That killer, roll big L's uptown, go figure. Fuck with the Zilla, none one Rilla. Mention my name, you better pay my lawyer. Got a Bible on my best stand. And condoms in my left hand. I just wanna party with my kinfolk. And kick it with an info. I pray the preacher save my soul. I hit it when they hate on low. But love me when they play my shows. Whoa. Little lips after slipping everything she shouldn't save And taking everything that couldn't wait Say you would that it be great <laughs> It is so good you guys Like I swear it looks scary because it's green But it doesn't taste like vegetables at all It's like just a hidden sort of nutrients And then you got your fruit You got your almond milk And that is just a hearty breakfast to me But if I were to add something to this Which I don't know if I'm going to It'd probably just be a cut up honey crisp apple with some almond butter or some just regular peanut butter because that always seems to fill me up in the morning so other than that I don't like to overset myself too much you guys all do know I love my coffee but uh, I was gonna make some coffee and show you guys but Kendra is actually the best and asked if I wanted to get some from Starbucks because she's about to run up there and then we're gonna sit at our kitchen table and do our homework together so I'm kind of really excited for it but yeah breakfast in a cup So guys, Kendra just actually got Froggy started because she's literally the best. And I just decided you guys probably don't know what my vegan Starbucks drink is because you do know what my regular drink is. I always love my skinny vanilla lattes, but skinny vanilla syrup is not vegan, which is weird. And then, yeah, like lattes have milk in them. So now I get a toffee nut coffee with soy milk. It's so good. And I really highly recommend. And the soy milk just tastes like regular milk, honestly. Like, I can't tell the difference, but not bad at all. So I've gotten ready for the day, and yes, I did just change my gray sweatshirt to a red sweatshirt. It's just so cold outside, guys. Like, there's literally no other way to walk to class than to wear a sweatshirt, and 
I do have class. I have to leave here in about 30 minutes. It is 1.45 right now, and I am getting a little hungry. So I decided I might as well make some lunch. I was really deciding for a long time what I wanted to make, but I looked at my pantry and everything, and I was like, why not try something new? Not extremely new, but, um, you know, the ingredients are new. So I decided I'm going to make some spaghetti with some of the new ingredients I have. So I have, it's organic spaghetti, but it's um, quinoa spaghetti. So I'm really excited to try this gluten-free, allergen-friendly, no GMOs, um, corn-free, and vegan. So I'm excited to give this a whirl. I also just want to make spaghetti because I have some extra marinara sauce that's going to go bad soon. Also want to try out these meatless meatballs. Like this might be not be the healthiest vegan mood or mood <laughs> mood. This might not be the healthiest vegan meal, but like uh, I've been wanting to try these out for a while, and they look really freaking good. I'm also just gonna make a little salad. So I have some leafy romaine as well as some baby spinach, and I'm going to add just my vegan Caesar dressing to that, which is so good. So I'm about to make that as an appetizer while I'm boiling some water right now, and I'm hungry, so I'm excited to get a munch in. <laughs> a watched pot never boils. Ew, look how dirty that is. Ew, not, not cute, not cute. I'm buying bottles, I found my confidence Set the bottom boy slalom And change the angle, don't let it bother, you know Don't you go burning them bridges Unless you can walk on the water so my noodles are boiling and I am going to have to rush to eat this because I actually have class at 12.30. These will probably be done in about like five minutes or so and yeah. So that's that. I have to leave for class in about like 10 or 15 because it's a kind of a far walk. But I did want to give a quick shout out to someone I've been watching on YouTube a lot recently and this is Christy. Um, her channel name, I know it used to be named Strawberry Electric 48. I don't know if it's still, no, I think it's just Christy Vetter now, um, I hope I'm saying that right, but she's basically been making a comeback on YouTube with a ton of like meal prep, weight loss, like videos, cause she has lost about like 20 pounds so far in her weight loss journey, and it's honestly so inspiring, and her videos are very good, and just down to earth and real, so I really recommend watching her videos, I've just been like binge watching them today, and it's made me really inspired to like hit the gym and like kind of focus more on my health so yeah go check them out so my spaghetti is done i'm currently microwaving because i'm the worst my marinara sauce and my meatless meatballs i just want to let you guys know the marinara sauce i'm using that is vegan is the oh i should probably turn her off the marinara sauce i'm using that is vegan is just this one i got this at whole foods it's just like their brand um and it was not that expensive, I remember, and it's pretty nice. I'm kind of making a mess in the microwave, but I'm gonna have to clean that later. My noodles are done, and they do not look like they're, they're going to be bad. Um, I'm actually really excited. These might be my new fave. If they are good tasting, because I love pasta, but I just feel bad that it's like not the best for you. This is what that looks like finished, and you already know we have our collection of our noodles that we flicked on the wall. Um, this one's up here from like one of the weeks we moved in. Like, <laughs> so funny. This is my little concoction of my meatballs and marinara sauce. So I'm just adding that together. Bon appetit. This is my lunch that looks like it's very generic, but that's college man, you know? <laughs> I'm about to take the first bite and I will let you know what I think of it. I have a feeling I'll only be able to eat like half of this, but that's fine because I'm like perfectly hungry for half of this now and then half of this when I get back from class. My class is only an hour, so it's like perfect. I'm scared this is going to be so hot. Guys, it's so good. I like, I can't believe it's like decently healthy. Like it's so good. I do wish I like heated up the noodles a little bit, like they're a little tender, but maybe that's just the quinoa, <laughs> but I really, really like it. Let's try a meatball. Okay. I liked the crabless cake, guarding like meat better, but this one's pretty good. It's not bad, it's not bad. A1 for me. I'm satisfied with this meal. Now I'm about to eat it as fast as I can before I go to class, so. So it is about six o'clock and I got home from class and I worked on some homework and I got some other work done. Uh, cleaned the house a little and started my laundry and now I am ready for dinner. 
and I was thinking about what I wanted for dinner. I know I should probably have like kind of a normal meal for this video at least, but I was like, I'm not gonna change my meals for the video. I'm gonna show them what I actually eat in a day. So today for dinner, I decided I'm going to heat up this sweet potato and this is really big so i know this is gonna fill me up a lot um i'm also gonna make some of my ezekiel bread because i haven't had it yet and and it's cinnamon raisin i'm gonna put some of this vegan butter on it and then also i'm gonna heat up these are my favorite steam fresh mixed vegetables and guys that is the college way to do healthy like literally this is all microwavable except for i'm probably gonna put the ezekiel bread in the toaster oven just because like why not and yeah that is dinner. Putting that on for two because it was extra big. And that is my finished meal and I am so excited to eat it, wow. Last but not least, dessert and look what I got, guys. So delicious, cashew milk, snickerdoodle ice cream. Like I am so, so, so excited to try this. What's up you guys? So it is currently like 8.45 right now and I am not really quite hungry at all. The only other thing I've had is my Lipton iced tea peach. I wish I had the diet version because I usually do, but oh, I love that stuff so much. But anyways, I tried the cashew milk um, snickerdoodle ice cream and I'm not kidding. It was literally one of the best ice creams I've ever had. I love snickerdoodles, but like I've never had anything flavored like that and it actually had the cookie inside of it like I think that like I gave it to Kendra and like she isn't vegan or anything and she loved it so like I really recommend trying it out whether you're vegan or not like it's just a good alternative. That is all I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought about it and also comment down below if you'd like to see more of these videos. Uh, just let me know and also if you're not subscribed to my channel yet be sure to hit that subscribe button i am starting to upload at least once a week and i'm really happy to have you here also if you're not following my social media my instagram and twitter is always linked down below and i'm always updating those so if you want to keep up with my life i do a ton of follow backs so i may or may not be doing a big follow back spree after this video is up but anyways, yeah, I need to stop rambling. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Every day.